Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing absolutely fantastic. It is Monday, it is a new week, and this week I'm going to be doing a subscriber request video. So, I received a message from one of my lovely subscribers asking to do a video about how to keep your skin hydrated and lovely and glowing all the time. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, yeah, come along for the ride. Okay, so if you are like me and you've spent pretty much your entire life dealing with dry skin, then I don't doubt at all that you will have your own little ways of doing things, you have your own ways of keeping your skin hydrated. Um, so these are just like my top 10 tips, okay? Um, if you have your own, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear them. I'm always looking out for brand new skin tips. Absolutely wonderful. So let's get started. Number one. Okay, so number one is one that a lot of people kind of get mixed up. So when you are washing your face, if you have dry skin, um, you need to kind of use warm water, not hot water and definitely not cold water. Now, cold water is known to dry out the skin, okay? And it makes your pores shrink and it's just awful and it's not very good for your skin at all. So if you are washing your face with cold water, don't do it, just stop, it's not good, it's not good. Do it with warm water and, uh, and you'll be fine. Tip number two. So tip number two is another one that people kind of get confused with, okay? So if you've got dry skin, you might think that when you're out shopping for skincare products, the first thing you need to pick up is a moisturizer when actually what you need is a hydrator. Okay, now moisturizers are fantastic. So what I would suggest is um, after washing your face, after washing your skin with warm water, <laughs> make sure you are putting on a moisturizer, but then also follow that with a hydrator as well, or just use a hydrator on its own, that's okay too. Now, hydrators and moisturizers are different. Uh, moisturizers are kind of just like a general thing to lock in moisture and hydrators actually put moisture into your skin, so they hydrate your skin. Hydrators can be a little more expensive than moisturizers, but if you have got dry skin, I highly suggest grabbing some because they are a godsend, and I promise you will see the difference in your skin within a couple of days. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely do that. Uh, hydrators all the way, brilliant. Tip number three. Okay, so number three is a really, really big one, okay? And it's to know your skin type. And you're probably sitting there going, yeah, I know, it's dry, that's why I'm watching this video. I don't mean that. I mean, you need to know what sort of dry your skin is to be able to kind of make it better. Okay, so there are two types of dry skin. So you've got uh, either water dry or you've got lipid dry. Now, water dry is kind of affected by environmental surroundings or it could be because you spend a lot of time indoors and heating, general heating, can be really, really bad and can dry your skin out. Um, or it can be because you spend a lot of time outside and if you're in Britain, like me, it's nine times out of 10, it's windy, it's cold, it might rain. That's not good for your skin either. Um, but then you've got lipid dry, which is more of kind of like a genetic thing and it's actually just because that's how your skin is. Um, and there are factors within your body that make your skin how it is. And this is more, more often than not a chronic condition. So you kind of need to know which dry skin you have to be able to treat it as best you can. So it's probably best, like, if you don't know and you have got dry skin, just book an appointment with your doctor and they will literally be able to tell you straight away. It's not that hard to diagnose either. So. Make sure you're doing that, but you need to know your skin type. Tip four. Okay, so tip four is one that even my clients always argue with me about, and 
it is so important. You always, always need to wear either sunscreen or a cream or any skincare, in fact, with SPF in it, okay? Now, if you're like me, again, and you live in Britain, and it's not always sunny, and the weather's rubbish most of the time, you're probably thinking, I don't need to wear sunscreen all the time, I don't need to wear SPF. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's so important to wear products with SPF in them because it protects your skin from sun rays and from UV rays, and it stops your skin getting damaged. And yes, there are UV rays, even when it's raining and gray, and cloudy like it is in Britain most of the time. So make sure you are wearing SPF products um, and if it is really really sunny outside please just wear sunscreen. Um, factor 50 is brilliant just do that and protect your skin okay even when it's not blazingly hot sunshine you're gonna need that protection so yes SPF always. Tip number five Okay, so tip number five, if you've got dry skin, you would literally have heard this over and over again, and it's on every single website, and it's on every single advert, and literally it's everywhere. Um, but I'm gonna put it in this video anyway, and it is to make sure you are drinking enough water, okay? You need to be drinking at least 1.5 liters of water a day. That is literally what you need to be drinking, okay? Um, I strive for two. I fail a lot, but I always strive to drink two litres of water a day because my skin is extra dry. So, drink lots of water, it does hydrate your body. I know it's not the most fun drink, but if you drink a lot of water, it will hydrate your body, it will hydrate your skin, and then you will have less problems with dry skin, I promise you. Tip number six. So tip number six is one that you're probably already aware of, um, but for me it was something that I kind of never really thought of. I kind of only found this out when I was around sort of 17, 18, and I was properly starting to kind of look after my skin. Like, I've always had really dry skin, but it was around sort of 17, 18 when I thought, you know what, it's probably a good idea that I start doing something about this. Um, and it's to avoid putting products on your skin which have irritating ingredients. Now, that sounds really simple. I know it sounds really simple, but actually it's it can be quite tricky. So, there are irritating ingredients everywhere for skin, absolutely everywhere, and it's anything from like perfumes or artificial fragrances, or we've got alcohol, or we've got harsh preservatives that they put in some makeup. Um, the worst one is a uh, propylene glycol. And that is absolutely awful for your skin. It's an irritant, it can cause breakouts, it can cause your skin to crack. If you wear products with propylene glycol in too much, it can really, really damage your skin. So you need to make sure you are looking out for anything that can damage your skin, any harsh ingredients, any irritating ingredients. Always go for natural skincare if you can. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive sometimes, but it's so much better for your skin. Go for water-based products as well. Go for natural makeup if you do wear makeup, okay? Make sure you're not putting anything on your skin that can make your skin worse. And look up what all the irritating ingredients are. Um, I don't wanna list them in this video because that's a video all on its own. But just look them up because honestly, you will be shocked. If you look at your products that you've got in your house and then look at the list of irritating ingredients, I promise you there will be more things than you think in the products you're using. So it's always good knowledge to have. Research what you're putting on your face. If you do wanna know any more about natural skincare that isn't actually gonna damage your skin, let me know because I actually run a skincare business. So um, I'll drop a link to that in the comments below uh, and also in the description and you guys can pop along you can have a little look at what we do because we are literally the whole thing like we are paraben free we are vegan friendly we are gluten free we're cruelty free we're all the good things and we're non-toxic as well which is also a really 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 important thing when you're putting it on your skin okay so 
That's my shameless plug over and done with, but seriously guys, it is super, super important to look at those ingredients if you have dry skin and uh, try and pick things that don't have those ingredients in. Anyway, tip number seven. Okay, so tip number seven is always a really controversial one uh, that I tell my clients and I do get people argue with me a lot, but honestly, there is so much scientific proof that this is a bad thing that I am more than happy to share it with you guys and it is to not use scrubs on your skin. Any exfoliating scrubs, just don't, don't do it, don't do it. Exfoliating scrubs will dry your skin out more and they will cause irritation in your dry skin, okay? Now, I know that you can get scrubs for dry skin. I don't believe in them either. They are no different. <laughs> They're no different to the scrubs that aren't for dry skin, okay? What a scrub does is it will take away all of the dead skin cells off the top of your skin, which, yes, is great, but if you've got dry, irritated skin, it can cause cracks in your skin and it can cause even more damage to the top layer of your skin and dry it out even more. When with dry skin, you want to kind of put moisture into it. So uh, yeah, scrubs are a really bad idea. If you've got any scrubs and you've got dry skin, dump them, give them to a friend, just get rid of them because you don't need them. They are gonna damage you even further. Anyway, tip number eight. Okay, so tip number eight is one that, oh, do you know, I, I hate this tip because it's so effective, but it's just rubbish, <laughs> like it's so bad. So tip number eight is to avoid eating too much sugar. Um, avoid too many fizzy drinks, avoid too many cakes, avoid too much sugar, um, and salt as well, avoid too much salt too. Um, the reason being is because it can dry your skin out. Not only that, it can cause really bad breakouts as well. And if you have a breakout with dry skin, um, it can actually, it can make your skin scar more when the acne kind of goes or if you pop it or whatever, it can actually leave more scars in your skin and it can make your skin really, really bad. Uh, and also it can leave you with really uneven skin as well. So like the tone's gonna be funky and you're just gonna have patches of dry skin everywhere. You're gonna have breakouts. It's gonna be awful. Look after your skin. Literally skincare starts from within guys. It starts from within. I cannot stress that enough. No amount of stuff that you put on your skin is gonna work if you're not putting the right stuff into your body in the first place. So do that. That leads me on to tip number nine. So tip number nine kind of follows on from what I was saying in the last tip. Skincare starts from within, and it sounds like a really daft thing to say, but if you're not putting the right things into your body, your body's not going to be able to repair your skin because it's not gonna have everything that it needs to make your skin better. So you need to look at not necessarily vitamin supplements, but you need to make sure that you're eating things with the right supplements in. For me, I have a very busy schedule, so I take uh, Juice Plus supplements, and they're not kind of artificial vitamins. They're basically whole foods, just pressed up together in a capsule that I can just take in the morning and then forget about it, and I don't have to worry anymore. And it just, it means that I'm getting everything into my body that it needs to keep me okay, but I don't have to kind of worry about kind of fitting in meals and things. Um, so that is an option, obviously, you know, yes, that's another shameless plug because I am a massive advocate for Juice Plus um, and I do have my own Juice Plus shop. Absolutely love it. I use pretty much everything Juice Plus do and they're incredible and my skin's fine. So let me know if you'd like that. Link is in the description. But seriously, guys, you need to look at what you're putting into your body. Vitamins that you need to be consuming for dry skin, to make dry skin better even. Uh, vitamins D, you need collagen, you need vitamin C, you need fish oil, and um, if you are putting things on your face or on your skin to make your skin better, make sure it has hyaluronic acid in as well because that stuff is just incredible. But yeah, so make sure you get any vitamins into your body as well. Ideally, yes, 
through food. Food's amazing anyway, but if you can get your vitamins through food and you have got the time to do so, please do that. But if not, you know, you can take whole food supplements that have those vitamins in, but you need to make sure that you are looking after your skin from the inside out. Okay, guys? Now, we've got one tip left, and that is tip number 10. Tip number 10 is really, really important, and it's one thing that I was super, super, super guilty of, and I've had to kind of get used to washing my skin in a completely different way um, to look after it, and it's to make sure that you're not rubbing your skin. Okay, let me just, let me expand on that. When you're washing your skin, make sure you're not rubbing. Make sure you're always kind of patting and stuff. Like if you're washing your face with a flannel uh, or a hot towel or something like that and you're washing product off your face, pretty much if you're washing any part of your skin, don't kind of scrub like this. Make sure you're always kind of patting and then rinsing off. Rubbing's just gonna irritate the skin even more. Like it's literally, it's gonna make your skin drier. It's gonna irritate your skin even more. And um, you'll probably find your skin goes really red afterwards as well. It's just because you're irritating your skin by rubbing. And the same thing when you're getting out of the shower or out of the bath. With your towel, if you have got time to just go and lay on your bed and chill out and air dry, do that. It's literally the best thing for you. Like, obviously make sure you're putting on your moisturiser straight after the bath or shower. Um, but if you have got time to just lay there and air dry, just do it. It's the best thing for your skin. If not pat your skin dry, okay? Pat it with a towel and I promise it will still dry. <laughs> It'll just be less damaging for your skin and uh, I promise you it will work. Now, ladies and gentlemen, because we all love our skin, uh, I do hope you have found this really, really helpful. I love sharing tips like this with you. So if you did like this video, please do uh, tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you are notified as soon as I post new content. If you are smashing the bell icon though, please do make sure that you click all notifications so you find out exactly when I do post. You might need to do this for phones as well because some phones are a bit funny with that. However, I do hope that you have found this video really, really helpful. I love these videos. I love doing top tens. Um, so yeah, if you've got an idea for any videos that you would like me to do, Drop a comment down below and let me know. Do come and say hello to me on my social medias. Uh, I will always reply, I promise, even if I'm busy. Sometimes you will be waiting a little while but you will always, always get a reply. If you have got an urgent request or an urgent message you want me to look at, drop me a message on Instagram because I'm always on there at the moment. Love the gram at the moment. But for now, ladies and gents, I will leave all links in the description to all the stuff that I've talked about in this video. Uh, if you do want any more information on dry skin or how to look after your skin or anything skin related, pop me a message and I will get back to you. Don't forget to let me know if you liked this video and if it was helpful for you or if you try out any of these tips and they work, drop a comment below, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys very, very shortly for some awesome new content, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, maybe a couple more videos this week. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.